Are the wildfires that I see on the news connected to climate change? Mm. The wildfires, I believe we're seeing bigger wildfires out west. Is that connected to climate change? Uh, yeah, I've written a couple of books about wildland fire, and it's pretty obvious that um, the increased acreage burned of wildfires and the intensity of wildfires are both related to climate change. You know, there's, there's this, uh, 2015, the United States saw the most acres ever burned in recorded history. And I haven't seen the statistics for 2016. And also, um, Fort McMurray, right in the heart of the tar sands, was evacuated. The entire community was evacuated because of a big wildfire. And there, everything I read by climate scientists indicate that that fire was as big and, and catastrophic as it was because of climate change. So this shouldn't be a big surprise. This is one of the self-reinforcing feedback loops I talked about in my presentation earlier today. As it gets warmer and drier in the interior of continents, you get bigger and more fires, more ignition, more, more wood consumed, more wood turned into carbon dioxide into the atmosphere which makes it warmer and drier in the interior of large continents. And of course, then we also have the compounding effect of what's happening with the forests themselves and, and becoming weaker and more vulnerable under climate change. And so um, a lot of the forests, uh, you know, the tr these trees adapt over long periods of time. You know, you see different species of trees moving in, into different areas as, as the climate would have historically or naturally, prehistorically, you know, changed more gradually. But it's changing so quickly now that these trees are really in a stress condition, in a sort of a weakened condition. Um, and you end up with a lot of die off of the trees just because of that. And that creates, of course, a lot of fuel, a lot of dead wood that's available to make the fires a lot worse. That's getting compounded by the fact that um, various uh, predatory insects, bark beetles and that sort of thing, are able to take advantage now of those weakened trees um, under the climate change. In fact, some of these insects are able to move into areas because there's no longer uh, the, the, the coldness or the, or the climate phenomena that would have kept them at bay. So now you've got a lot more insects moving into these forests and doing a lot more damage to the trees, which just compounds all the effects that Guy just mentioned and really sets them up for some catastrophic wildfires.